All right, guys, welcome back. Now, I know it's really tough sometimes. We, leave, we hit our shot into the bunker. We leave it in the bunker. We skull it out way across the bunker. It starts running across the green. Or worst ever, we hit that hosel rocket shank that shoots 90 degrees to the right. Extremely frustrating and really embarrassing when we get in the bunker and we can't get out. Well, there's a, a great product here called the Bunker Pro from iLine Golf. And this is a great system for just kind of a surefire way to get the overall basics of hitting a bunker shot and getting it out of the bunker every time. Let me go over exactly how this will work. So I'm going to line this up, this edge, with the direction that I want to hit the shot. And then we'll see this is what's called a shank protector. So if I come through and my club hits this little rod there, then that means that I'm getting pretty close to maybe shanking this ball. I want to stay away from that rod. And then just on the inside of that, you'll see it says to place your ball two inches on this side of this piece of plastic or this shank protector. And that's exactly how I have it set up there. Now from here, I want to have my club face wide open. So if you go ahead and set up your club, I'm going to rotate the face open about 35 or 45 degrees and take my normal grip. That's going to ensure when I set down, this face is going to be wide open. I'm going to place the ball a little bit up in my stance so you can see if I draw a line that's going to go slightly toward the front side of my stance. My stance is going to be slightly open and now when I come down you will see that there's this rounded area here. I want to have my club smack into the sand in that rounded area and then it's just going to slide right underneath the golf ball. It's going to pop the golf ball up in the air and I'm going to have a nice clean shot. So again face open. I'm going to thump the sand behind the ball and lastly here I can go ahead and have my wrist kind of hinge on through. Wouldn't want to do this in a full swing, that would be a flip, but for a bunker shot we're going to get that bounce to kick through the sand and to really get that ball coming up nice and high with a lot of bite on it. Let's go ahead and try that out. There we go, nice and soft. A little bit long on that one, but we can see some of the sand kind of push that over there that way. But overall a nice clean shot. I'm going to get out every single time with the Bunker Pro. Hi guys, I hope you all really enjoyed this video. If you did, I got a great bonus for you. I'm going to play a preview from one of my number one lag videos. Are you struggling to get a lot of lag in the downswing? We know how important that is. We got to get lag. We got to release that lag to really let that club whip through contact. I'm going to play a preview from one of the best lag drills out there that I have. I'm going to show you how players like Roy McIlroy, Tiger Woods, Adam Scott all use this in their own swing. It's going to help you to hit it a lot farther, pick up some great speed. If you want to watch that video, go ahead and click the link that pops up in your screen. If you're on a mobile device, a phone, a tablet, go ahead and click the i card, which is going to allow you to get instant access to that. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below. Click that thumbs up button. That really helps us out. And be sure to subscribe. That way you'll see our latest videos. Good luck, and I'll see you in the lag video. Hi, guys, and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard. And in today's video, we're going to talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see. And in this drill, what we're going to do is we're going to set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag and then we're going to try to hold this throughout the swing. It's one of the worst things that you can, that you can do to build lag. I'm going to talk about the science behind why this is the case and I'm also going to give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get if started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we want to do is throughout the swing I want to have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not going to set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, look at Tiger Woods. All these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only going to max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag is right at the end of the golf club. This is where I want my hinge point to be. I want to use the full length of this club. 